We're five days post Athens protocol for keratoconus. We can see the white crusting here at the epithelial defect, and this is uh, this is bunched up epithelium that probably restricts epithelialization over it. We know that the epithelium grows from the periphery to the center, and we're going to see here an attempt to pull with one Q-tip the contact lens, the bandage lens to the side. We're doing this without anesthetic because I want to make sure the patient is comfortable afterwards. And we're coming in with a sterile Q-tip and I'm just polishing gently the edges of the epithelial defect. And we're very lucky we have a very compliant patient. I'm moving back the lens in place. And then we're going to see here, I'm going to try and find a nice picture here. We can see that the edges are more clean. They don't have that white hypertrophy. I'm trying to see if I have a better shot at this one. Maybe this one here, we can also appreciate here that the white hypertrophic edges are gone. Um, try a few more. It's probably the best. So we probably gained here a couple of days uh, of faster epithelialization. We're gonna hold back on the steroid, continue just with Afloxin drops, the autologous serum. If there's pain, we'll use topical bronfenac, so it should heal within the next few days. There's a small um, defect left, and um, um, we're gonna go and look at the keratoconic pictures now to see uh, what is it that we corrected the day of the procedure. Um, and this is an important part that we've discussed on the postoperative management of uh, keratoconus and how we manage uh, this uh, in our treatment portfolio. And we're gonna go and look here at the preoperative images of this keratoconus. And we can see here that um, age-wise we're in our 40s, uh, but we can see how steep the cone is, the thinnest part of the cone on our pentacam maps in anterior elevation, posterior elevation. John Canlopoulos from Center here in Athens, Greece, signing out.